In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Good morning. I want to thank everyone who has been uh, following these videos, um, the subscribers, those who, who have been viewing the videos. Thank you so very much for your support and, more importantly, your prayers. Um, I want to go back to the last video that I made concerning some of the other icons that I have on our um, family icon wall, our family icon corner. And as usual, I suspect that there are people who saw the video, had questions, didn't really want to ask. So let me go ahead and give an, an answer to the question of this icon of the Virgin Mary and also known as the Theotokos. And what does she mean um, to Orthodox Christians? Well, first of all, the term Theotokos literally means she who bore God, she who gave birth to God, she who had God growing inside of her. And if you would consider that Christ is God the Son, so if Christ is God the Son and Mary gave birth to Christ, therefore she would be she who bore God. Very simple. Also, with the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, and I know in traditional um, Protestant churches, we don't really give, well, I should say they don't really give, but then again, I grew up Protestant. So I understand in Protestant churches, you don't hear a lot about Mary, except of course, during Christmas and maybe during Easter. But other than that, Mary is kind of like pss, a cast off. Please consider, first of all, 10 commandments in the books of Exodus and Deuteronomy, it is stated, honor thy father and mother, so your days will be long in the land that I will give you. Oh yeah, we have no problem honoring God the Father. But what about the one who gave birth to God the Son? Also, in the entire section of the Gospel of Luke, um, verses 26 through 56, we see the whole explanation of the Annunciation of the birth of Christ between the angel Gabriel and Mary. And we also see Mary's interaction with Elizabeth. Blessed art thou among women. Both the angel and Elizabeth say this. Blessed art thou among women. And even Mary herself says in verse 48, All generations will call me blessed. So Mary is an important part of our Christian life. No, she is not God the Father, God the Son, or God the Holy Spirit. Of course not. She's not a part of the Trinity. But Mary played an important role in our salvation because she is the birth giver of Christ. If a woman does not bear a child, there is no child. So if a woman does not bear the Christ child. There is no Christ. Well, Mary, could, well, God could have chosen any woman to, to, to bear Jesus. Okay, yeah, he could have chosen any woman, but he didn't. He chose one particular woman who happened to be a virgin who lived a pure life. Well, God could have chosen anybody to be the figurehead of the civil rights movement, but... I think that was Martin Luther King Jr., who we all recognize as the head of the civil rights movement. And don't we have a birthday named after him? 
Or how about in your church? You may have um, church anniversary. You may have pastor's anniversary. Well, God could have chosen any church building. God could have chosen any person to be a pastor, but yet you honor your church building. You honor your pastor. Why not honor the one <laughs> who brought our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ into the world? Why not? It is a connection between ourselves and ancient Christianity that is always taught honoring thy mother, the Theotokos. And again, that term, Theotokos, she who bore God, she who had Christ inside of her. Isn't that the point of being a Christian, that we want Christ living inside of us. These are just a couple of reasons why we consider Mary worthy of honor. Do we consider her worthy of honor to replace the Holy Trinity? Of course not. But the Virgin Mary, the Theotokos, is an integral part of Orthodox Christian theology and thought, and she is a part of our daily life, especially our daily prayers. Thank you, and if you have questions, those of you who live outside of the greater West Point, Virginia area, <laughs> laugh, yeah, greater West Point area, <laughs> We're a small town in Eastern Virginia. Um, those who live outside of the town of West Point, the West Point area, yeah, feel free to shoot me an email, um, DM me on Facebook. And those of you who happen to live in the area, chances are you might already know me. And therefore, you can reach out and ask me. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Everyone have a blessed day.